So in this video, we are going to look at a hello world program in a lot of different languages. So in the previous video, we have uh, seen hello world only in the CL or the control programming language, or the scripting language for this program. But today, we are going to look at COBOL, RPGLE, C++, and even Java. So as we have seen in many videos before that the AS400 system supports a lot of different programming languages. So let us not limit ourselves to the classic RPGLE and COBOL for AS400. Let us also venture into generic languages, C++ and Java. So let's begin. So first we have to look at where each source code will be stored. Now I've already written down the hello world programs myself i uh, will look at where these programs are stored so let's start with cl so as we discussed previously every single programming language will have its own uh source physical file so if you do work lib and your personal library 12 for work with objects as we have seen in many previous videos, all your COBOL programs will go into QCBLSRC or CBLLE SRC, CL programs will go into QCLSRC, C++ will go into QCPPSRC, RPGLE will go into QRPGLE SRC and so on. So every single source, different type of programming language will have its own storage, source physical file. So let us go back to our CL program example. So today we'll just overview where the programs are stored and we will compile and execute them. Let's log in into one more session. Okay, so I'll do work MBR PDM command, which allows me to browse inside the source principle files. So these are our CLP programs or the control language or the command language, scripting language programs. So I've written some sample programs here. So this is our program from the last video which we created. We'll just modify the program a little bit. We'll open it in edit mode. So this is going to be hello world from. I'll just enable lowercase input. So hello world from here. So this will tell us that the message is coming from CL programming language. We'll type in file to save it. We'll compile it now and run it with 14 enter and yes to delete existing object it says that the program is created successfully we'll now try to go back to the command line call qcmd will give us nice big command line with history so we'll do call test one in my library so it gives you the output hello world from cl so we are done with the hello world program from CL programming language. Next in the list is COBOL. So COBOL is stored in QCBLLESRC, which would be the ILE version of COBOL, and QCBLSRC, which would be the OPM COBOL. So we'll look into the differences of ILE and OPM later on. But for the sake of this video, we'll look at the OPM version. So if you go inside QCBLSRC. I have created a simple program. So we have covered how to create a new program in the last video. So we'll not reiterate that. Uh, so I'll just show the program that I've written. Now COBOL requires you to type the code at specific positions. At the top you have A and B, A section and B section. And the dash line denotes where the comment uh, would be written or the star for the comment would be written. So we have written a basic COBOL program for Hello World and where we have different divisions, identification, environment data. So these divisions allow you to specify different things like variable declaration would go inside data division and so on. So let us not go into the details of COBOL right now. So this is a basic COBOL program structure uh, where you declare all the divisions and your uh, statements you write under the B section. So we have written display Hello World. So we'll just modify it. You have display Hello World uh prompt will enable the lowercase again so to have a nice output so this is going to be hello world from cobalt okay we'll file save it now we'll compile it 
actually i should be changing the name of this because we already have test one so we will have test one cbl which will uh, the object also will get created so this got compiled test one cbl got compiled we'll run it now with same call test one cbl object in my library so the output came and it went away if you press f10 you will see the output again here it says hello world from cobol so the hello world is also done from the cobol programming language next in the list is rpg -E. now rpg has different versions there is the old rpg you have rpg 4 free format rpg rpg also has the opm and ile types so we'll look at the free format rpg uh, so i've already written code in rpg we'll we can look at the code or create a new code with work member pdm as usual so we'll go inside urpg lsrc and our library and look at our code so we have written a simple rpg le free format code so they think this is a mixed format rpg where you also have to specify the x spec and uh, you can then uh, start and end the pre pre format coding for rpg which is the rpg 4 also it is called so we have written the x spec which comes under the spec alphabet for the first character of the program then from the second character we have written we have started the free format rpg and we have ended free format and uh, these are the rpg this is the rpg syntax for displaying a statement on the screen and the second line denotes that the program has to end we will save it we'll compile it so 14 option and enter yes to replace existing object we will call the object now so test rpg let's go back and check what is the name i forgot the name q r p g l e s r c and in my library so yeah this is the name so we'll run it again go to qcmd we call our object which is in my library and it showed the output it went away we can then get it back with f10 it now says hello world from rpg so we have completed hello world in rpg early programming language now the fun part begins c++ c++ is a traditional language used in a lot of other systems servers desktop software video games operating system code so on is also written in c++ we'll now look at the c++ code so if you look at our library with work lib with 12 work with objects you will see here that we have qcpp src so qcpp src will go into work member pdm again and we'll look at the program that i have written so this is the c++ basic program where you have to include the header file io stream which is for input and output then you have the main main uh, method or the main function in c++ which return type is int by default which you need and then you have a standard sys out or standard out and we are displaying hello world from pcc hello world from cpp and then you end the line and then you return zero to indicate that it is a successful program closure this is a general simple syntax for c++ programs so we will now compile it so we have created the c++ program with cpp extension it is placed inside qcpp src we will now compile it with same 14 option enter delete existing object yes it has compiled the program successfully so test cpp if i now go and run it from the command line with call test cpp in my library it says hello world from c++ now it is appearing two times because i have already executed it before once this is the second execution so the execution for this time is the second one that you see over here you see that the terminal window or the output window is different I think this output is usually a QSH output. Uh, we'll talk about QSH and QP2 term in a moment. 
when we talk about Java. So we have completed Hello World in C++. Now the last part is Java. So Java is a multi-platform language. Write once and run everywhere. So Java also works on R as for Android, as we have seen previously. When you execute call QP to term, it starts a separate uh, terminal window for you. This terminal window also allows you to run Linux like commands like ls, pwd, and so on. So, with pwd, you can see that my current directory is slash home slash my username. So, we are currently in the home directory. So, I have already created uh, the test.java program. Um, so we'll look at the program now. So you can look at the program with cat. You can paste the name of the program. It should have displayed. Yeah. So this is the program. I think there are a lot of empty lines below. So this is the basic program that I've written in Java. But the name of the class is the name of the file itself, test.java. The name of the file is test. Class name is also test. And you have the basic public static void main, the basic standard method that is required in Java, and then system.out.println, hello world from Java. You can access. So, how do I create a new file in QP2 term? We'll do a quick demonstration of that. So, to create a new file, what we can do is touch, which is also a Linux command or a Linux Unix like command. We can do touch, then we can have another class name. Let's say if you want uh, the class name to be AS400. So I can create touch Java, I mean touch AS400.java. So now if you do ls, this has created AS400.java. Now I do not know of an editor which runs directly from QP2 term. If you know of an editor, then do let me know. But for editing this file, what I usually do is I open another session and I do work lnk. A work lnk will also start in your home directory if you do not specify the directory and you get your as400.java. So you can display or you can edit. So you can edit and write your code over here. So you can insert, let's say, five lines with i5 and then you can write your Java code like class, class name open curly braces, system, your public static void main, system dot out dot print ln and so on, which we have already done for test to jot Java. So this is our sample program, which we have already looked at. We will compile it now and we will run it. So to compile test Java, we'll use the same commands, which we usually use for compilation of Java on any system, be it Windows or be it Linux. So all you need to do is Java C for compilation, Java C test Java. So we'll run the compilation so we got the dollar sign back so there are no errors successful compilation after successful compilation we also get a class file dot class file so you can now run it with just java test and there you go hello world from java so as you have seen there are many programming languages which are supported on as400 it is not only limited to cobol and rpg it supports even Python. We have not covered Python in this session because I am not sure whether Python is supported in the pub 400 server, which is there for available for free for the public. Another point to note is that uh, when you connect to the pub 400 server, make sure that the PC SID is correct. Otherwise, the programs won't compile, especially the C++ and Java programs won't compile. So just take a sample physical file or source physical file that you have. So for example, if I do DSPFD, display file description, you see BLSRC in my library. And if you search for CCSID, shift F4, you note that CCSID is 237. So CCSID is different for every system. For the pub 400 server, it is 237. So when you set up your system, when you set up the connection in your IBM I access client solutions, make sure that the host code page or the CCS ID is set to 237. Okay. Otherwise, if it is not same, then you will end up getting garbage value, garbage characters for exclamation mark, for open bracket, close bracket, and so on. And the program will fail to compile. It happened with me when I was creating and compiling these programs for the video. 
to make sure that the CCSID is correct. With that being said, we have covered all the programming languages which we had planned today. PL, COBOL, RPGLE, C++ and Java. That is it for today's video. If you do like these videos, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.